Hey guys, what's up? It's Ayomide Tayo AOT2, and you're welcome to your favorite podcast in the world, 234 Essential. And my co host is here. Hi guys, it's a good yeah, to yeah, yeah. How y'all yeah. doing? We're all in the house today. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thankfully, we are recording very, very early, so you guys will not have uh, <laughs> stress and anxiety, you know, this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Actually, we we tried to meet time. I always said we're recording early. I was like, as a matter of which one now? Like Uh, early, early compared to last week. Based on (laughs) schedule dropping. Based on last week is early. It's early recording. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean for the but yes, but it's a late recording, really. (laughs) Yeah, it is actually. Uh, Thank you guys for joining us. Um, Thank you guys for listening to our last podcast we hope you enjoyed it we hope that it was uh, uh it was at least entertaining and educative as usual so thank you guys for listening to that one what's the title of that last one self you know that as you said it right now i was just thinking to myself that oh no nigeria talk yeah no nigeria oh, talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah yeah that was it yes yeah. when nigeria was nigeria was trying to to suck no. us dry why did you say was like it has stopped or there's been a yeah. just change at least we, we've we've not found... no we don't we don't we don't balance it we don't balance it go i'm we not sure say ego now. People on our side we like say we don't balance it go yeah bless some people for not people for not <laughs> bless some people in the north are not balancing ego so no we we'll talk about that later the, the full nigeria no balance ego i don't know mm. are you are you sure you, are you have you balanced ego you because i'm because no, we on don't one leg you. on one leg you money plenty for your side oh gee you need to drop back for me on our no uh-uh. no billion uh-uh. it's, it's, not, they, it's not only money coins it's not your wife it's not uh-uh. only money as you don't talk this balance ego now so it means i don't think i can say for you to mention ego at this it's time cri- you say you cri- get cri- money it's cryptocurrency, no legal. No, God, day your side. Don't do that, Ayo. You can't, you can't deny the blessings of God. If you get money, just after this podcast, let's not talk so much. Just send something. Thank you. Federal yes. government don't ban. Federal government don't ban transfer of uh, money. So <laughs> yes. Um, see what's really going on in this country. That's how. And now you can't, as a business, you can't withdraw over a hundred thousand naira over the counter. And as, I mean, as an individual. I know they I know they go over the counter now. Eh, but people, you get people. See, cash is king always. People still need money. Does it affect people in PO? Does it affect POS transfers? No, like you can't physically get cash. Of course, well, it will affect those guys. Uh, but me, I don't. Uh, me, I don't move around too much. So, where see, I, I, don't, I don't talk and say he get one privilege. Wait, no, see, me, I am the low. I am Let's, the. You let's know they say one percent. I'm in the ninety-nine percent. No, that, the way you are, there are some things now you are saying that me, I'm thinking uh, about that. Uh uh-uh. Where they it's, go? At the go office. I will buy it for finish. For your side. It not is. It's like so. below the minimum. It's below the maximum. Not, it's, not the same way you go talk. We go come on my mind uh, saying now you now you suppose give me now you suppose bless me this night. This not is this is a, this is Hallelujah, a fake news started. So I, I know what you're telling me. Yes, 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 you're telling me. Yes, what 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 you're telling me. Yes, my no, hustling to is my hustling to is virtual. Let me change my house first. I beg. Ah, I beg. I see anything outside of God is nothing. I know, I know. I'm not denying that. I'm not denying that now. See, but, but I'm, no I'm, I'm, I'm not doing satanic work now. No, we say I go with Kanayo, Kanayo. Say, Baba, show me the way. Please, can you show me the way? Who can I sacrifice? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that's not here. So, oh my word. Since, since I'm not going to meet Kanayo, Kanayo, and I'm not done blood money or ritual, I, I'm fine. I, I'm fine. I'm okay. Well, I can't believe you. The statistics say otherwise, and I can't. Uh, sense. <laughs> I can't sense that your money is now in foreign currency. 
Because mm. last last time you go give me. For your question, we, if you don't, for your question that if you sleep with dollars in your account, wake up tomorrow morning. Can those one thing if you don't collect your foreign currency? Those, those, <laughs> like, see, see, let me tell you, Cardoso gives me the vibe of those all those employees that they're really just starting out in a position. And this is even me giving myself a direct shade, right? Just starting Bro. out in a new field. And you're just like, ah, what 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 do you think now we can see? So that this meeting can go on. And the person just goes and just says something. You know who Cardoso reminds me of? Tell me, tell me. <laughs> you know in the office, Dwight. That is who mm. Cardoso reminds me of. Honestly. Every other talk, yes, I agree. <laughs> we must go in that direction. Well, not over. You know, you know how Dwight overdoes it. See, the I Dwight say, uh, okay, you're in charge of security in the office building. That's when you're not gonna bring gun, taser. We're not over checking everything. You're proactive. Over proactive. Over That's why right. yeah, he won't show working. As assistant to the regional manager, not I'm assistant to the general manager. Assistant to the regional manager. That, that that argument was too. It was too strong. Yeah. Yeah. That argument was strong on, on the office. And if you've never seen the office, man, I don't know what's giving you joy the right office now. Is great. The office is great. Probably yeah. one of the best series I've ever seen. It is. At, at least in comedy, yeah. it is. Yeah. I, I mean, to be very honest, like, even based off of a good watch, whatever genre, what, is that what they call it? Whatever. Yeah. Whatever it's, whatever, vet, I don't even know what, but whatever um kidney tight to it's just mm-hmm. like it's just such a good watch like i didn't want to skip any episode i didn't feel like oh there was a d- boring episode no it, the conversation momentum everything was perfect till the end and of course when michael left it was just like i'm sorry if anybody is watching yeah the office right Please, now it's, 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 it's the, the office is the office it's not it's not game <laughs> of thrones where God, where the suspect is comedy, calm down. Oh, it's not anything. You know, some people don't like spoilers, mm-hmm. like you now. They oh, don't like spoilers. So real. Me, I don't uh, mind. But that not for shit. the office, man. Spoiling it's not that funny. hard. It's not that, it's not that hard, man. Destroyed. Life is not hard. Life is not that hard. Yeah. Destroyed I wish you could get spoilers me. on Nigeria. I wish you could get spoilers in Nigeria. Like 10 years from now, where, please, can you just give us a, a brief summary? A bullet point summary of what Nigeria will be looking like in 10 years' time. Are you, I'm going to I'm going to play an audio based off of this thing you just said, and I would okay. just let it play that part of it yeah. <laughs> because this money while well, I the reason my life my sister sent it to me and I'm just like. First thing I want us to understand is that it's not going to get better, <laughs> so that we will not keep having these unrealistic expectations. If you look back at our democracy since 1999, we have never had a better government. To go think back 23 years. It's getting worse. It keeps getting worse. It has never gotten better. So we need to have that reality behind us while we are looking at the future. Because see, life is lived forward but understood backwards. Yeah, no. We have never had mm. a better government. So to believe or expect that, oh, this one will be better than the former one, you are going to be setting up yourself for trouble. So that's not... Well, we don't, we don't believe that on this podcast. We, we, we know that it's going to be better. <laughs> So says the person that, that looks for the audio clip to play it. No, when you Amen. said that we need spoilers on Nigeria, I swear this this video just came into my head because it was such a terrible message to listen to in the see, morning. It's just that Nigerians. Okay, continue shall. first. Yeah. No, yeah, no, continue. no, see, facts, the guy, the guy spoke some facts, right? But it's also Wait, is, the guy? Guy. is it the delay guy? One guy that has dreadlocks or something like this. No, no, no. This is the uh, Olumi Day. Um, Emmanuel, okay. something, Emmanuel Olumide or something. Okay, I'm the right of him. Yeah, Olumide Emmanuel, his name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I want to say yeah. something. Yeah, I'm like, in this country, we don't, I don't know what we listen to. Maybe because we listen to too much. Uh, so there's a pro, there's a program back then in the in the 90s. Mm. It was called Awada Keri Keri. It was a comedy half hour, this thing. Okay. Um, some great you know, Yoruba comedian, comedic, comedic actors mm. were the ones that did it. They were part of a troupe. Jide mm. Kosoko was part of it. So that's where Jide Kosoko I blew. I watched this. Okay. Yeah. So they used to call it Awada Keri Keri, which is, you know, mm. the hour of fun, merriment, enjoyment, playfulness, and everything. Mm. I think that's what, that is what is worrying Nigerians. Because <laughs> every time something bad is about to happen in this country, there's always somebody that God uses to tell you that. Oh, now one chance and I won't enter. 
I remember clearly when um, Sanu, the former Emir of Kanu and the former CBN governor, mm. in 2012 or 2013, at the mm. forum where he was, where Diziani, you know, was mm. all of them were, they were in power then, they were shining teeth. He mm -hmm. warned that the, what Nigeria is facing is going to be some bleak and dark years. That the pain in the land will be very, very terrible. And what people are just clapping and they're looking up and down. It has come now, what he has said. It has come now. What he has prophesied. Ten years ago, but no, we are watching we are watching Bobriski and BB Niger. We are not here. Now people can't even afford to watch uh, BB Ninja again. So God dear. Um, uh, anyway, don't let us bore you with um, stories of doom. That will be later in the podcast. Uh, thank <laughs> you guys for listening to the last one. If you're a first time listener, two, three, four essentially simple. We help you we help you, you know, break down Nigerian life or what Nigeria is and navigate, you know the day-to-day -day dealings of dealings how you how you deal in how you manage yourself in this great country of okay. ours the federal republic of nigeria the federal republic of nigeria yes <laughs> yeah. founded in the year of our lord 1960 first became a republic 1963 first school 1966 1966 thank you ladies and gentlemen a brief ah, history class for all the gen z's who don't I, you, you've forgotten our amalgamation in 1914 Oh what yeah, so there was a little there was a little thing where they decided to marry a beautiful young bride to an old man. Literally, this how it was this how it was it was described, you know. Um, a young bride married to an old woman. And you now want it's an old man. You now wonder why pedophilia is rampant in this country. <laughs> why pedophilia is the reason why this country was created. It was the it was the illustration they used, it I'm was saying. the metaphor they used, and you now wonder why. Pedophilia is rampant in this country. Simple See, as that. Has, I have been doing a lot of self affirmation, right? And, and you know, just self help because the anxiety is real. And you know, they say in you know, all these things that like you can change your your character and your story at any time. Yeah, you so, can. Yeah, we can change our story at any time. Just give <laughs> us more time. Our beans go soon, don't you? They, I mean, the bill soon don't burn. The kitchen, the kitchen don't catch fire since God knows. No, I say we go soon done. If they come, uh -uh. okay, please Just let us. Feel. All right. Um. Uh -huh. So, so Nana says Nana, who's our postmaster general, has yes, said there's no fan mail or release therapy today. So you guys, I believe you guys are preparing for Valentine's Day, so that you people will give us the the bad bills. Some people will talk breakfast. On some people talk breakfast. Yeah, some people talk <laughs> breakfast. Sure. Some people I collect collect here what of eight hundred k. You sure that one sure? Some guys we don't they toast we don't they toast bay for six months. That night is the night of dividends. <laughs> yes, that night is the night of dividend. All <laughs> hotel room, all hotel rooms booked. Mama, you must show working tonight. Is the night you are showing working. No tonight ready. gonna be yeah. a good night. Yeah. Yeah, make that there's no just cause traffic in Lagos. I beg you, name of God. Let us be that are managing ourselves. Let us see how we move. We that are going to collect ash on Wednesday. I beg, don't now, block our now road. Now, morning they, they collect ash now. Now, morning they collect ash now. It's throughout the day of ash Wednesday or Wednesday. What's in the morning? I don't I want to miss in the morning. Now, next year, we'll be oh, like, no. over. It'll be so, like next the mass. So the, the 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 I don't I don't know for lack of a better word the issuing or the administering of the ash, you can go if you go to the church anytime during the day they they there's somebody there to definitely put the ash on your forehead. So where does this ash come from? Let's just start, please. Let's just break this down. So, I hope it's not so the ash. Eh, tell me, tell me. Let me let me I hope hear. It's not human, I hope it's not human being ash. <laughs> See, because you asked this question, it's actually a great question because I'm sure yeah. a, lot people, a lot of people probably also wonder where the ash is from. It's from it's from Palm Sunday. You know, Jesus triumphant entry into Jerusalem, right? Mm -hmm. So the palms from Palm Sunday are kept for one year and Ooh. then burned on Ash Wednesday to put on your forehead. Ooh. So it's not like human being ashes. Yes. Oh, okay. no. Oh, we just God. have to be. We just have to be. To be clear, just, have to be. just be clear, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Me no be like, uh -huh. okay, good, yeah, good, good. But, but yeah, for I'm sure a lot of people also wonder about that. So it's just basically ash, and they mix like holy water in it. I don't know if they mix any oil in it, but yeah, just put water oh. in it. And put right. it in your that's cool, that's cool. what it is. But it's blessed. 
So right. don't be pain. All right. For lack of um, any mail, we'll just jump into how our week went. Um, yes, yeah, so which... I'm curious to know actually how your week went. <laughs> My own week. Oh, what mm-hmm. I put this week? Uh, obviously, cover Why nations cup. Why you yeah, right. Cover nations cup, which is very very long. I didn't believe Nigeria would go this far, but here we are, <laughs> <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. By the time you're listening to this tomorrow, depending on how fast you but listen to this, yep. Nigeria will be about to play South Africa, or would have mm-hmm. won, or God forbid, would have been defeat, or would have been defeated by mm. the Amar piano boys of South Africa. Yeah. All I'm saying is that uh, <laughs> Super Eagles, this is not a match you should lose. You can lose to any other country. I beg you. <laughs> but not South Africa. I'm see, now beg with a beg. I beg. See, to be honest, I wanted to watch Nigeria versus Angola. I promise. Somebody shout out to Uche. He sent me hey GA. He calls me GA. Um, he sent me a link to watch the match, but I saw it really late. And by that time, the match had already ended. Don't worry, there's South Africa for you to watch. There's South Africa yes, for I'm you to watch. Yes, I'm going to definitely catch up on that tomorrow. God I bet. Yeah. Make yeah, I know yeah. thank you. Um, what happened again during the week? Oh my, it's a blow. What happened during the game during the week? Uh, we couldn't record loose talk podcast, so people were beefing us. Uh, oh great! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I'm happy to you guys because okay. wow, wow. Why? Why wow. should it? Because I feel like, let me tell you, I feel like loose talk. You guys are really chilled right now. Osage's voice is like really calm. Yes, no. people you know if they do. People. You can't be doing, you can't be doing all those wild things we're doing by them. Damn, because I beg. no, we're not talking about being wild though. We're talking about it was loose talk for a reason. It was, it was, mm. it is not was. It still is. I feel okay to be honest. I feel like you guys still put out that same energy however the pe- like the delivery is different yeah the delivery is different yeah yeah, yeah that, that's what i feel my honest opinion definitely. i feel like yeah. blue stock still has that energy and it just like speaks to the maturity that has now become as well right mm-hmm. because you guys you guys have left the um passionate rants in that in yeah. this is no this is no um this is no um insult or you know anything to anybody it's just like there was there was a time when there was a lot of passion with the rant and with, to the facts, and people forgot that you were like facts were being stated and focused on the anger. And I, to yeah. be honest, the older you grow, you just realize that it's not in the expression of the anger; it is in the delivery of the expression, right? Yeah, it's just like you can still be angry and still be chill. You can still be True angry, that. And, so that people can pay attention. Um, to what it is that you're trying to put out, so definitely, and I feel like um, two, three, four, um, loose talks audience over time has sort of also grown with each yeah. and every one of you, and like the different parts you have all taken. Um, and like, so yeah, I think there's a new level of appreciation and all of that. Plus, away from that, it's been how many years? There's a lot of change has happened for sure, yeah, eight years, eight years now. The, exactly. Although there was it like a two year or three year break, yeah, but yeah, anyway, yeah, or more um, than that, to that, to that, five years. <laughs> <laughs> now you know, now you know. I wanted to say something. I forgot what I had to add about my week. Uh, what happened again? My week? Let's talk about um, your videos on social. Oh yeah, thank you. I dropped my Shino Peters video. A lot Diana. of people loved it. Um, <laughs> Clarence Peters, obviously, we Shino Peters on put it up. She not put us also we posted it on the IG story. The uh-huh. producer of the album, his daughter, his daughter, she thanked me, like thank you for oh. recognizing my father. She put it up on her IG story, then her father put it up on, on his own IG story too. Mando. So, and a lot of Nigerians are like, please, please continue. What happened after when Kwan One came? I'm like, don't worry. The story is be told. Stay tuned. Click this camera. The next video is not about Kwan One. We are going to take our time with that one. So we are going to give you other stories. There's mm. um there's that of Evie Ed- Edna Ogoli, the reggae okay. queen. There is mm-hmm. the one of Festac, Festac seventy oh, seven. Uh, then I think I will do one about uh, Magic Fashek. Ooh, yeah. that'll be great. Yeah, I think I'll do the one about Magic Fashek. At least three or four. Yeah, but I love. Thank you for the. For okay, first of all, thank you guys for the feedback. Somebody, I have to shout out this person. I won't say his name. 
when he saw the video, he hit me up and said, I love what you're doing. Please send me your account. I want to pay for your sponsored ads. And, uh-uh, yeah. no. and I was like, wow. And the guy, I just sent my I sent my account. I even for I think I slept. And I just woke up, I saw credit alert. I said, Wow. In this economy, anybody that's no, giving I, you money for no, your passion, anybody that's giving you money for your passion is yeah. God sent. So thank you very much. Uh, you def- so much. the next video is going to be different because the lighting will be different. Just watch and see, Sha. It's not going to be the normal light okay. anymore. It's going to be a different light because we're investing, we're putting more stuff into the production. We want the production quality to be higher. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how my well, week. that was yeah. definitely the highlight of my week because people well, love yeah. that video. I put it on TikTok too, and people went wild, like, oh my lord, this is the in-depth Ooh. analysis, you know. So I'm like, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Uh-huh. This now justifies all the three hours, two hours spent researching. Because I had to watch exactly. like six hours of interviews just to make sure my facts were right. I had to watch the people wow. that were in the know so that I don't miss because it's about history and you don't want to go and yeah. miss it. Yeah. Exactly. So, so yeah, that was it. Me. Yeah, that was the highlight of my week. Thank well you. done, Ayo. And thank you for also taking out time to research. Yeah. Because it's so important now, especially now that everything has a digital footprint. Definitely. It's just so great that we're not just like talking because we can't speak, but like speaking the truth so that the truth is what flows through time, you know. Mm-hmm. Well done. Honestly, like is giving when I saw it, I was like, Afro this explainer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Please, you I know. I think I wanted to ask two things before I continue healing you. I wanted to ask yeah. two things, but I think it just became three. First, number one, when are we bringing the time in history back on this podcast? Oh, okay. Uh, about that, I'm going to ask you again. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do. Okay. Let's start from March first, so that we can, so that I can highlight what I want to speak about. Okay. And do okay. like summarize it properly. So yeah. Okay, and this one will be about music. That. Ladies and gentlemen, this one be about music to be like key events that happened in Nigeria's history that everybody should know. Like Killer Beans. Okay. Anybody okay. that was born in the nineties would remember what Killer Beans was. Yes. Yeah, so. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. For those of us that were born in the was so, there was a, so there was a time when they said beans was killing people. Like people, oh, yeah. people died. A lot of people were dying from beans. So for that like three months. Yeah. So for oh, like three months, then Nigeria stopped eating beans. They I just remember. stopped eating beans, yeah. Or uh, Legosians. So it's not took Mawa, who was the administrator, to tell that he's safe to eat beans. The man had to eat Akara and had to put it on television for, for us to eat beans. Yeah. I remember the first day we ate beans in our house. We we're like, okay, is everybody still oh, we woke up the next day? Everybody's okay. Is everybody still alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so your next I, question. I, um, okay, I want, I want to talk about killer beans, but I'll move on. Okay. Um the second question is. Are you going to? Is it? Would it be possible that part of the? Are you going to be doing any topics on? This is not a must, but this is actually just a, an actual, an honest ask. Are you going to be doing any, um, any? I don't. What What do we call it? Any topics or any projects on Eastern musicians? Oh yeah, I've started. So I I have a mental note. Why yeah. it's going to be a lot, it's going to take longer for me is because obviously I was not exposed to that music to the set to the degree that you were or people who uh-huh. were born in the east. Uh-huh. So, if uh-huh. I really want to do something on Oriental Brothers because I believe okay. they're very key in Nigerian music history, yeah. uh-huh. but now uh-huh. to go into like articles written about them, their bio, their greatest songs, the one that uh-huh. resonates more with Nigerians. Mm-hmm. So I have to do, I want to do for Oliver the Coke. I also want to do for oh, Raichi um and the other you know great Eastern musicians you know Asadibi. yeah then definitely we'll go to the north too because north also have you know oh, quite a few amazing. yeah so want to be Pan African one thing I didn't want to happen was to make it look like oh I was just singing I was just talking about Yoruba 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 because yeah. I think the first two videos I did were nice and I can't remember the first person again the first, the first person I did. Nice and somebody, and it's all like Yoruba, uh-huh. like nah. So we have to switch it up. So I like the fact that I did that is Shoki. That is Shoki, yeah. definitely, mm-hmm. obviously, even that. though he was he was raised in Ajegunle, he's definitely not a Yoruba uh-huh. person. Yeah. So I want to move beyond that, you know, and just start, you know, doing other stories because there are other stories that have to be told. Like in the East, East is very, very, um, uh, um, uh, how will I put them? Pivotal to the story of Nigerian music or to the to the expansion of Nigerian music. A lot of mm-hmm. people don't know that whole 
what happened during Beyond Friday, all the high life bands that were playing in Lagos, yep. what happened to them during during the Biafra period. And that was the, the thing what happened to them was that they moved back to the east and they were trapped. They couldn't come outside of Igbo land to come and perform. Yep. So when the civil war uh, um, how would I put, ended, yeah. these bands came out and they're not singing high life anymore. They were singing dark rock music. Uh, and that's how rock music started in Nigeria. That. Yeah, very acidic, psychedelic rock music. And that's how it started in, in Nigeria. So guys are singing, uh, um, after yeah. the war, they were yeah. singing some rock and roll, heavy shit. You know, so... Interesting. I didn't yeah. know this part. Oh, yeah. So the history of rock in Nigerian music is, is thankfully down to the Eastern musicians. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely... A lot of people, it's like I said, a lot of people won't know. But because of the small research I've done, I'm like, okay, wow, okay. And stuff like Chris Okote, how big Chris Okote was in the 80s, pop music in the 80s. Yeah, a lot of things to talk about in Nigeria. Yeah, a lot of things. So we'll Mad. definitely do that. I also want to do a lot about women too. Oyeka Wenu, Christina Esegbe, the Ligadu sisters, and many other people. Very, very, that's so interesting. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work yeah I, I i i don't know like more grace to your elbow to be honest Thank more you. strength more grace because it's yeah. not easy it's, not easy. it's, it's so difficult it's like merging all these things um and yeah. finding a balance to be honest I, because i'm finding a connection like how does you exactly. connect in the big picture exactly exactly on on the, in the big picture like your big picture what does it look yeah. like yeah it's so it's so that's so crazy i mean I think that there's so. I'm sure if people, when these people listen to this podcast, like years after, it's just that level of dedication at this time in, in your life, right? And yeah. how much work you're also putting into the things that you love, right? It's mm-hmm. been a long time coming, and like it was cooking, literally, it was cooking for for perfection. Because yeah. I imagine I had done this some years ago, and I mean, like, yeah, but I didn't get it right. Like I've had yeah. this idea since, but. It didn't mm-hmm. just feel like the right time. Right but time, now, exactly. It's looking like okay, we can do this. Um, so I just got a message from someone. I'm sorry, I have to read it out loud. Aye. And I'm going to this is going to be a quick segue, right? So someone just sent me a text message. So um over the weekend I went for a wedding, right? And I met a, I met someone at the wedding. And yeah. the person just to highlight, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with the person or anything. First of all, the person is on the mainland, um, and I don't, I stay on the island, right? So there's already that distance. But since I met him, he's been telling me, "Oh, I'm going to call you. Give me mm-hmm. ten minutes. I'll call you now. Give me five minutes, or me, I'll say, call me in fifteen minutes, or call me in ten minutes." And he never calls. Wow. And then I, I, I said to him just now, like. Um, he's trying to call me now that we're recording, and I'm like, "Yo, it's not a good time." You yeah. always say you call, and you never call when you say you call. He says, "Oh, I'm sorry, my bad." First of all, I think that it is very upsetting that somebody has to call your bullshit on you as an adult. Then you want to say, "I'm sorry." Sometimes sorry is not like it's not fine. And this thing I'm talking about, I'm not talking about it because it hurts, but it's just. To give an example of sometimes the, the ways that people respond to people sometimes, right? Yeah. It's different if I tell you that, oh, I am going to call you, and then I don't call you, and then I come back to say later that, oh, I put sorry, or oh, something came up, or oh, that's why I didn't call you. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. But like you've done this like a couple times, <clears throat> and you don't see any error in it, and no, you know, just casually now telling me I'm sorry when I call you out on it, and then you now say, hope your day went well. And I and I respond to that to say don't be like don't be sorry because you didn't see it as a thing to be to apologize about in the first place. I beg, yeah. and I don't and I don't to be honest I don't even say this because it's a guy or it's a it's it's talking stage. It's just courtesy. I have friends. I, I communicate with people. I can't tell you that I'm going to call you many times and I don't follow through, and then. You expect you expect me to tell the person sorry and everything is supposed to be okay in the world again. Like, and 
I know that it's very difficult adulting, to be honest. It's not the easiest thing. And some people struggle with communication. But it's when somebody calls you out on something, the best thing is to be accountable. Don't say sorry and just expect that, okay, sorry, you said sorry now. <laughs> Great. How about you say, oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. Like, I got busy at that point. Or, you know, so that the person doesn't feel like it was intentional. Mm-hmm. And you say, I'm sorry. And the person says, sends another message now following to say, I'm, I'm a man who likes to keep to my words. Yo, OG, make you make sense. Please, is this <laughs> OG, make you make sense? You don't know what I mean? It's just like, you like to keep to your words. But you've not kept to any of your words and you don't see it as a thing in the first place. So I don't know. I don't know how it is. But really? and guess what? I'm not even cool. this not this is not me even this is not me even holding it against this person or anything. It's just to highlight that people as adults, we no, let me not put it that way. As people, we need to communicate better. Yeah. Lots of things. A lot of things go wrong because we're not communicating well. I'm not going to say that I'm perfect at it, especially depending on the setting. But there's some things that just it doesn't just make sense. Or oh, I'm having a conversation with somebody and the person say we're both adults. We both understand. No, use your words. Tell me what is we're not both adults. Yo, and I got a lot of those type of I got one message like that this week. It's just like we're both at no. <laughs> Why do you feel so if I'm an adult, you think say the reason we see the reason? You need to clear it first, then we'll know. You understand? Are you in my yeah. mind? Do you know, do you know what I'm thinking about? Oh, we say we're both adults, we both know. No, 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 we don't. We don't both know. Enlighten me. Show me show uh, make me understand. Do you understand? Write it, let me see. So that I can read and know that oh, this is what you're talking about. Say we're both adults. Uh-uh. Before. No. So I was I was a, I was a minor. No, no minor. Okay, so what's the last question I was there to ask? Tell me. You said you said you had three questions and you asked me two. Oh, the third one. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. I went on the mini round there for a second. Um okay. the third one was I was going, ah, shit. I think I forgot to know. I was going to ask you about um, your newsletters. That's the third one. Oh, um, uh, we'll bring you back. Let's one by one. Don't worry. It's coming. I get it. I get it's it. Coming. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. You, are you also sourcing? Do you, by, are you by any chance going to source for help? Or assistance at any point during this? At some, at some point, it will. Because when the content creation thing now becomes overwhelming then obviously uh-huh. i need like i need like help but for now i think i have like i can handle it for have now your hands on your hands. okay yeah yeah well yeah. done thank well you done. very much then i also want to like segue into nollywood like you mm-hmm. know okay. a little bit I tried doing the home video era i think mm-hmm. i want to do like my favorite top 10 home video movies of all time yeah i think that would be great i think that would be yeah that would be yeah. amazing and it's something that like a, a Netflix or a YouTube or a Prime Video can sponsor, that will also be great. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe YouTube shall because they have a lot of that content. Yeah, they do actually have a lot of old films. So yeah, that's how my week went. Um, I don't great. think nothing much again happened after that. Love it. How was but your own week I... in corporate Nigeria? Um... <laughs> Well, to be honest, my week, my week, uh, my week was che- was up and down. Let me put it that way. It was up and down. Um, still on my on my planning and processing for the event coming upcoming in March. Okay. Um, my my CAC registration also finally came out. Whoop, whoop, you know, whoop. later I saw that I saw what you said. I was like, whoa, okay. That time Did I was, you know, I was just in that time. I responded to the other question, not that first yeah, one. I was exactly. like, what are you? I thought you were telling me something about Nigeria that uh, CBN oh. said everybody that take everybody's money or hell, something like that. See, they say if you have one more than one thousand now, they will dissolve it, they will they will take it. 
Eh? You have more than one. More than one thousand what? USD. No, they, um, this guy has come out to say is a lie. That's not true. Name? Yeah, yeah, but Cannot you know, Niger yeah, but you know, Nigerian government. What is not true in the morning will be See, like it's going to change perhaps to there for night. Now they mean to be that. You know, it's not the reason. Eh? Nigeria, we have that kind of economy that when the government wants to, when the government wants to do something, they used to throw a test. No, you yeah. don't say, hey, just throw it to see how you receive it on how uh, you don't. No, no, do, no, do toss P. No, do small toss. You understand? Just let's take must test on this if it's acidic mm -hmm. or basic. By the mm -hmm. time they throw it outside like this, on how the team, but if the team, if the team burns, if the team catch fire, they will be like, uh, 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 uh. We're the team blood, if you blood the bouncing burner. Oh yeah, yeah, it's on. It don't, it don't. It's too much. It's like, no, too no, 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 no. Do you know, I can't remember which of the what what turns what it must be power words, but it's red or blue. I don't know which um, is red. But I, can't I just know that I drank beers. <laughs> I, I drank beers once, and I was very hungry after that. I, how did you? How? What, what, how? You so you know when, when you are doing titration, you need to suck the base and put it in that oh, small big, yeah. that beaker. So there's one you that don't over suck it. Over suck and, it. I, and they will tell you that don't suck. Don't mis, don't mistake it with acid. If you're gonna suck acid, don't mind. Yeah, yeah um, your own. No. Yeah. That's all. Um, shit. Interesting. So how, how did your week go again? Um, so I'm not done. That's that's true. It's it's interesting how you reel me back to like the conversation. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it was good. My CSC registration came out. The yeah. Arm Insights Limited. Okay. Limited co. Or got my down. Yes. Listen, they asked me what I wanted to sell shares in the company. One thing, one thing, one thing. I say yes. I would intend to. Go. Time and it's baba needs to just go. Okay, yeah, that's a go. <laughs> um, so that was that was a good one for for the week. I haven't really spoken about it yet because I'm I'm currently going through. I should have done this since, but I'm really just taking my time because I'm also trying to buy time for myself. In, in a sense, I'm trying to do a logo. Haven't settled on it yet. Um, I think I'm marking time because I'm also trying to, um. I'm trying to get more of a of a hang of what it is that I'm doing for my nine to five. Um and I'm trying not to juggle too many balls at the same time. Um, because a lot of the things that I do currently are very mental and my anxiety hasn't been helping. So I'm not trying to rush too much. But however, I'm looking for I've I've gotten like a help in a sense. Or let's call okay. let's call the person. Let me say not let me not say help, but maybe like I, I've gotten an intern. Shout out to Precious, my baby. Um, mm -hmm. she <laughs> she sometimes helps with some tasks. Um, our focus on the month is definitely towards the hour insights. Um, the hour insights is a business development and sales um consultancy for SMEs, especially. Because that's like a field that I've had vast experience in. I've never really dealt with big companies, but I mean that's the future goal. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it just feels like start of a lot of good things. I also got a really good call from one of my sponsors. That see, I was too excited. I did, I was stuttering for the longest, um, and so that made me happy. And it's a call I've been expecting. I've been hoping on. Um, I want to call the name of everything right now, but like I don't want to speak of it before it materializes. But yeah. fingers crossed. And if it doesn't go as planned, if I, it doesn't go as I intend, I'll definitely be sure to hear all the details about how it goes. Really, if it goes great, if it doesn't go great, I'm going to be honest, talk about it because ah, these past few months of my life have been really interesting, and it's definitely something that. I, I believe that I should I would talk about because hopefully it helps somebody else. Um, and yeah. it's also just part of the formative process in all. Um, because of what I do as a salesperson, I feel that people also think that naturally I'm a liar. <laughs> um, <laughs> have but I had a meeting during the past week with one of my managers. I, I think I told you that the, one of my former managers... Um, okay. 
And yeah, I mentioned it on the group now. Do you remember? When we were I supposed to record remember. one eve that evening and I told you to get oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was going to dinner with one of my former managers. Oh yeah, yeah, um, I remember that I remember that now. Yeah, we worked together at Alara when I worked there and you know, we're just talking about what it is like now. Um, especially in the field that I'm working in. And, you know, I was just me in, like now that, that I'm in media, right? And we're just really trying to, you know, dissect how salespeople can be seen as liars. To be honest, to make a sale, you have to be optimistic. Yeah. Sale is a lot of optimism. It's not, it's not a lie. I'm just very positive. You sell positivity. Nobody buys a product just because many times it is functional. If I ask you now, why do you use your iPhone? You know that there are certain limitations your iPhone has. But because of the story of the phone, because of the, the, the brand resonates with you, whatever it is, they built a story about the phone that now makes it what it is. It even helps with, with, the, with the product's positioning, right? Yeah. And I had gotten wind of the fact that some people on my team were saying, oh, Ugochi lies. I'm just like, yo... I never see what someone make me lie. I'm just hopeful. I'm hopeful mm -hmm. that I will make it still. If I don't have hope, if I'm not being optimistic, then I can't make it still. Nobody is going True to that. talk to you when you're sounding drab and sad. Salespeople are always very peppy and up and down. And guess what? I know that sometimes I could come up as being too chill, you know, or, but talking about pe people and saying that they lie is very bad for anybody's image especially if you don't know me, you know? So, yeah, just getting all of that. And sometimes it also makes you question yourself. Are you doing the right thing? Are you in the right place? Um, but essentially, um, I think a lot of what happened this week was just to show me, like, at the end of the day, do you, right? If people don't love it, then they don't love it. And at the end of the day, it's really about me, nobody else. If I'm not doing it for me, then I shouldn't be doing it at all, you know. And yeah, I went for a wedding as well with my elder sister. Um, <laughs> over the weekend. I know. Did you chop did rice? You, did you chop rice? I did chopping that I chopped, say. <laughs> but really sad thing right now is that I don't have a lot of appetite. But yeah. Um, it, it was a great wedding. It was really funny. It happened at Harbour Point. Interestingly, the groom, I had connected with the groom the week before, and I didn't know it was going to be the we his wedding that I was going to go to the next week. Oh, wow. I promise you. Once I get, and once I go to the wedding, I'm just like, ooh, okay. Is this person, ah, interesting. Not that, I, and I, I, I connected with the person because of some business opportunity that he later even redirected me to somebody else, though now I understand why he did that, but mm -hmm. yeah. Only for me to get to the wedding and he's the groom. I just like, I'm mad. Bro. Talk about small Lagos. But yeah, I've had I had a good week. I had a good, more a, a happier weekend. Um, I haven't had that in a while, so I'm happy about that. Um, making little little wins in some of the things that I'm doing. Again, I'm probably just talk about it when it materializes or not, you know. Um, but yeah, yeah. it's been it's been a fun week. I'm excited about my previous week and i'm very hopeful for this week as well you know so okay hope, hope my matter most he mattered the most so uh, if you yeah. don't get hope for the country they don't know what's happening <laughs> you have nothing now, you have nothing honestly, okay honestly. but yeah that's what's happening cool 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 x of the week uh this was actually from instagram i believe oh. uh and we are going to the church to ask one pertinent question that everybody who uses the Bible app one. must have asked himself. Yeah. Um, Scooches, which is a very, very apt uh, handle for this question. Scooches said, Bible app asking for updates is very funny. Shay Abraham, don't talk new thing. Yeah. And if you think about it, first of all, this person was definitely on some narcotics when he took this. Um, yeah. Obviously, maybe marijuana... I don't know what they take again. Maybe balloon. I don't know what balloon does to the brain, but I'm guessing laughing mm. gas and all that shit. He was mm. definitely on some narcotics, on some very good narcotics when he asked this question. And it got me thinking, why do they update the Bible app? 
what new word do you do they find new books to add to the bible app is there like a middle um, testament a bridge yeah, between the old and new or is there like a sequel the new new testament <laughs> please enlighten me we know what the bible is there's no need to to do updates yeah maybe 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 like you know technology now maybe a change in the interface finding it's the like, bible verses faster you see the same thing that they wrote in daniel uh, and i saw for so same thing a, now, i saw a I'm, creature daniel will still say i saw a creature come out from the oceans with four heads <laughs> daniel first of all if you don't like horror i'm pleased there are two books in the bible you should not read especially when you're high <laughs> please the book of daniel and the book of revelations please do not yeah, read those books those books are scary as fuck daniel will just point. say a creature came out from the from the skies and it had four horns three eyes and 19 oh. legs i'm like ah, ah, and you waited that's my own problem you saw the creatures and you waited no, you did not so, run you did cast, not run pictures. no Definitely, if me I seen an angel back then or something, I for don't pick this. No, no, mm. no, I for don't. Other who, other who, son of man, do not be afraid. Eyes. I say, Oga, I am afraid. You are a wheel <laughs> within a wheel with 15 <laughs> eyes. I am running. Please send it as text message. Send the prophecy as text message. Do not oh, come no. person to person. Use FaceTime. Use FaceTime, please. Thank you. Or WhatsApp call. For dream. It's still scary. There's no part that yeah. has not been sight. Mm-mm. Ah, doesn't no, work. Uh, it doesn't no, work no, at no, all. Right. Then I, I, Revelation I, is just the end of the world. And the book of Reve- Revelations is just doom. Like the end of the world. And the woman came out and the dragon was chasing her Jezebel in the lake of fire. Honestly. Ah, I'm like, bro, this is too much. This is too much, I beg. So there's no need to update the Bible. It's okay. It's already fine as it is. Thank you. It's no need to add another. Up. And in the last, Why in the is, last days, in the last, 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 last days, what do you say? Is the app? Is the app they are updating? It's not the Bible. Okay, not the book. Mm-hmm. Uh, before they tell us in the last days, and people are walking around oh, with virtual headsets. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, the last days. Are, oh, the last days are here. How we how you think they would mm-hmm. now Sam say now it is the, the end time has come. Uh um, the end time has come and there's a virus that will keep people <laughs> with basically COVID. We yeah. to say COVID or something you know, like that. Yeah. I thought I thought COVID was mm-hmm. meant to be that virus. Oh no, man. I thought I thought I thought we were all going to die. I thought this was like some like a zombie movie. That there's no way we are going to die. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. I um, if we if yeah. we ever got into like an apocalyptic situation where there were zombies and shit, mm-hmm. do you feel? Would you like to live long? Like, would you like? To yes, now. Nah. Hey, me that. Or would you yes. Want to <laughs> I will survive. Me, I watch, you know how many zombies movies I watch. I already <laughs> know what's going to happen. That is the thing. They don't oh. even know what's going to happen. So um, I will survive. There's uh-huh. no. Way. But why no, would you want to live that long, though? No, the thing is that if you can actually contain the zombies, you know, or any other apocalyptic sort of, mm. you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I don't think there's hope. You'll be fine for the next day. The problem <laughs> is, and anybody who has watched any zombie movie knows that, zombies are not the problems. Human beings are the problem. How so? How you tell them. The problem Okay, when this safe location, nobody does this, nobody does that. One idiot will not go open the gate. Maybe he was feeling sad or something. The zombie will open it. So me, if I'm the leader of that colony, I'm <laughs> you know how. If you fuck up, I'll kill you. There is no. There's this series I was watching. I only watched the first episode. Yeah. I hope I hope to continue watching. I think it's called If. Okay. It's a mysterious town. Mm-hmm. Once you enter that town, you can never come out again. Wow. It's so it is that. like you know. When you're in America, you know how America has its own forest and you're mm. driving through, mm. like all those countryside. Mm. All of a sudden, the road will shift and it will lead you to that town. Mm. Like there are mysterious powers there. Mm. And you enter that town, you try and leave, you just begin around in circles. circles. Mm. So that town is now made up of people who got stuck there, right? Wow. So when you, as a newcomer, you enter, they'll first look at you. You'll be riding around town looking confused and they'll just be sitting there in front of their house looking at you like this. So when you're ready, you you come down and will tell you the truth of what has happened. Oh my God. So in, the, in that town, by 7pm, everybody has to enter their house. 
everybody has to be indoors by 7 Why? p.m. And that's because demons or like I would just basically say they are demons mm. will come out and start haunting people, but in the shape of people you know. Mm. So let's say you had a grandmother before. Okay. You will see that demon begging to enter, begging to enter in the shape of your grandmother. Oh. Like, oh honey, let me enter. Grandma is not feeling. And once you allow that demon to enter, it's going to kill everybody inside. Mm. So there's a rule: seven p.m. Close your door. Come now, on. there was a man who who didn't go to his family went on 7 p.m. He was a drunk. He stayed in the bar or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. A demon was able to enter the house because the daughter thought, oh, this was grandma. And the, the, the demon killed all of them. Mm -hmm. Now, because that man disobeyed the law, right? There's a place where they'll put you in the, in the town square. Yeah. It's a small metallic prison, mm -hmm. open metallic mm -hmm. prison. Mm -hmm. And you'll be there all night. So you see all the demons as they're walking past, wow. round. And they can come and kill you. So that was obviously the whole issue there. Yeah. Or if you disobey a law, they'll go and hang you. Uh, there is no mercy. That is what that is the precedent. <laughs> if you fuck up, yes. So in the zombie apocalypse, oh. you did what? Ah, yeah, the, let's kill you. Because oh there's no because this is where law and order has to be. Do not go there. There are zombies there, but no man is always no strong headed. Um, so me, I'll survive in a I saw that an, ap an, ap an, ap an ap apocalypse. I don't know about other people. But, but, but why? So what is the end though? But because you might either get killed by the thing, or either the zombie or the evil spirit, or no, we won't get no. If you follow the rules, you won't die. But if you follow the rules, you won't die. But people make mistakes. People sleep. Why do you want to stay so long trying to survive oh, okay. it? Because there's hope. There's hope that one day man can rise again. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Actually. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Speaking about hope, speaking about hope, mm. um, there were two protests this week, in case you guys didn't know. One in the city of Mina and one in Kanu also. Yep. And um, these people came out en masse, you know, relatively, mm -hmm. to complain about the cost of living in Nigeria. Bye. As it is right now, the cost of living wants to kill the living. Hmm. It's not more helping the living. Hmm. And if people in the north can be complaining or more, Problem don't they? Oh. Problem don't they? And I heard that in Mina, the, the police, as usual, had to disperse, use gunshots and tear gas to disperse the people as they who were protesting. Know which is their normal, mm -hmm. it's their yeah, regular yeah. trademark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a regular trademark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, it's real right now. If people up there are complaining that, oh, things are getting hard, full stuff, price of food stuff, mm -hmm. and everything, it shows that, um, I understand that, look, it's going to be very hard for a Tinubu government or any government in, in power to effect, make changes in the first year, but nobody thought it would be this bad. Nobody thought it would be this bad. Today, I already saw queues in filling stations, in fuel stations in Lagos. I think that you know. we, I think we already knew that it was going to be bad. I don't think that nobody, yeah. thought, we knew that it was going to be bad, but eh, no, we knew that it was going to be bad for sure. I mean, yeah, there was yeah. no other. But way. the problem, yeah, but now it's like, oh my, we do not think it to be this bad. Oh my, this bad. It's biting. Yeah, it's yeah. Actually... and Akada man told me yesterday that oh god, they won't increase the price of oil. I'm like, okay. You know that. Right here. You know that that's not the first. You know this is not the first time that we're hearing. That's why I'm saying that the Nigerian government, when they want to do something, they first of yeah. all put it out as rumor, and then what's that? Um... You know, What's that stuff that's trending on Instagram? Oh. Raise them, raise them, raise them. They go, oh, they raise them. You don't go, know. You don't go know when the car go move. They all they raise them. Until the car do zoom. Boom. Yeah. That's all you see. They, they don't really find a lot of talk and say, okay, make it boom. Nah, yeah. And really, it's giving us boom. Because, see, they've said this thing, they've been saying this thing since last year. I started hearing this about this fuel increase in December. This is February now. Happy New Month, by the way. It's February now. And they're still saying it. They keep saying it until they actually do it. And very quietly. They do it quietly. Mm -hmm. They do this implementation very quietly. And then we already just... They're preparing our minds. They are prepping. What's the word? That was that thing when, when you're... When people want to paint, they, they put something, some prep thing before. They're just, you know, prepping our minds for it. It's going to happen. That's how it always does. They keep putting it out there as rumors. Say, ah, they go... Do, do you know that this week... There was first scarcity on the island. There was no filling station open in Lekki. 
at least along the um, Lekki Expressway, up to, up until that I'm aware of, up until the fourth roundabout, everything was closed. Artificial scarcity is already rain is dead, small, small. So this one will be say now nah, I'm a boy again. They go actually raise this thing very soon. Because the way these marketers are even moving now, they will soon say this one that dollar has increased. The the prices that they, they of course budgeted it everything in dollar, dollar, yes. Yeah. Everything that in dollar. Be. They'll say the, 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 the prices that they were getting it for, the dollar has increased now. Maybe they bought it at one thousand to now it's one thousand five. They're going to increase it. That one is fact. Yeah. I know that they wanted to increase electricity tariff recently, like mm-hmm. maybe last month, but Tinubu put a stop to it again and said, nah, it's not the right time. I'm happy they know it's not the right time, but at the end of the day, it's like when a dam is about to break, right? And you do your best, the pressure will just keep on building, building and building. And when that dam finally breaks or more, it's not going to be pretty, fam. See, it's not going to be pretty at the end of the see, day. It's, it's a fool. Now, you collect your salary, right? And once you get your salary and you just start dividing everything, the money has literally finished in a week. Huh. And you trace your expenses and you don't see any. I know go no beside go uh Kubana. I will go you say you do me. Or I do do me. You just say what I go chop mm. three square meals or two square meals and one round meal. Or one square meal and half half round meal. <laughs> it's or one, no it's meal. Not all this one. Or no meal. Mm. It's not causing this for the day. In this whole while, uh, electricity has decided that it will pack up. That it will not just be re- it will be useless. Hmm. Did they use the electricity they place away? Hmm. Let me see. They said there's no gas to to fill the thermal station or something. Is that and normal? Is yeah, that's they came out to say they came out to say since December. I can't believe them. That there's not enough gas, and they've not given us a timeline of when it will come back or when they get enough gas. Open ended. So. We are on our own. If you have generator, go and buy fuel, but it'll be it will be increased obviously soon. Very soon. And maybe February. It seems that Nigerians are just Nigerians are just running around in the circle trying to survive. And mm-hmm. the government is just giving us false hope and false declarations of oh, this is gonna get better. Just believe it to me. Are they giving us? I'm so confused. Which hope? Yeah, are they, they give, have they they give hope. Hope. Which hope did they give? I'm I don't know. I've not heard any hope. I'm not saying there's Okay, the attempt at giving hope. I do. I don't even know if they've made an attempt at giving hope. No, they will. You know, it's so bad right now. Do you remember that Yoruba actor that went to the beach and was naked and yeah. I was paid for Tinubu? Yeah. The guys come out to say no. That is, this is not what he, he, he envisioned. Though. You don't. That he apologizes. Though. I was like, oh, after you done only fans, look at only fans. I never make money off it. <laughs> now look at you. Me. When the world has seen your ass See? on the internet. Oh my god, you know the truth. Eh? I've been talking, I've been talking too much this week. I told you that the, the, the kind of messages that I've been getting about what's happening in the country and just the state of the country. Yeah. Away from I'm not even on I'm not I don't I don't follow the news so much because I'm trying not to be more anxious than I currently am. Um yeah. so like I'm not even following the news, but like just physic like real time what's going on in the country. I say I I buy I used to buy Ever Water is a pack of Ever Water for two thousand one. That's twelve bottles. Mm-hmm. Two thousand one. As of today, it's three thousand naira for a pack, and they started increasing it small small to two three, two five, and two seven. Nice three k. The reason you understand the reason. Small 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 small. Just like that, everything is adding money. That video I played yeah. earlier. The guy was saying that oh, um, and it's not about it's not about um financially it's not just fi- financial literacy is not just about um increasing income it's also managing expenditure and I'm like fair points like I hear you <laughs> I think that we all things being equal do you understand all things being equal and all things are never equal but you know not in Nigeria not, never in Nigeria uh, even in the world in life in general self. Some animals are higher than some. I be, all animals are higher than uh. Yeah, funny enough, that's the book I want to read. Animal like, farm, right? By tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be nice to re- pick it up and read it again, but I'm really struggling with reading. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. So, um, I read two books already this year. I'm about to finish the third one. See, you are like really... in the next hour or so. 
Yeah. I sh- maybe Nanga should make you a mentor. Maybe you should be checking with that. I should depress. I should depress me for gym. I'm no, gonna depress you for books. Exactly. Let's do yeah. that. I'm ready for that. Actually. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. The first is for gym. The press me say make All I right. read one book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Four. Now I just saw this update. Sorry, uh-huh. not to cut the shop, but I saw this update. Me now protest Ratu Tinubu administration. President uh-huh. gives orders on food prices. Uh-huh. The mass protest in Mina. This is from Premium Times. Um, against rising food prices and worsening economic situation, Ratu the Bola Tinubu administration uh-huh. and partly influenced the decision of the president to issue marching orders to relevant officials to work out immediate measures to check rising food prices in the country. Uh-huh. Well, nobody today they run a check. Uh, uh-huh. They only check for rising food prices yeah. in Nigeria. When things rise, it's they never come down. Yeah, that is the number one law, number one law of Nigerian economics. Of Nigerian gravity. Once the price of it once the gravity. price of any commodity or price rises, it's never coming down. Yeah. yeah. The economic gravity of Nigeria. <laughs> if mm. they go, if they, they, they raise them. Um, maybe that's they, they raise them, raise them. That's, that's the top. That's the, the title, the title of, of this podcast. Raise, raise them, raise them. <laughs> Raise on, raise on. No because we don't know. Did they match them? The accelerator, they no come out the leg for the they hold them down. See. Si. Yeah. No, no, no. It's really terrible. Everything is skyrocketing. So back to the man that was saying that um financial literacy is also managing expenditure. I said hundred percent. However, before you know even to the chop, you the the minimum wage right now, our minimum wage of 30k is 21. 21. It's a joke. It's a joke. For a month. It's a laugh. It's, 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 you can't even laugh at that. It's Do a you know joke that's that so bad you can't laugh at. And like everybody, yeah. and this this is the NLC. And what I'm saying NLC now mm. in court. Mm. See, like as much as you want to manage your expenditure, it's also that thing where how much are you earning safe that you've you even like whatever it is, whatever do you know that go like you can't buy you can't buy the things you used to buy before at the same price as right now. And there are not a lot of very there are, not, there are a lot of options in the market, but you also don't want to buy like the worst of the worst because there's also some porosity in terms of standards in our country at the moment. But how how are you going to survive? Before we used to go to you go to the provision store, you spend like forty k, twenty k, thirty k. You buy provisions. That same provision is like seventy k. So you are telling people to eat. He said. So the man says it's a mentality thing for us to eat three square meals. And I'm like, okay. There are some people who have to feed themselves. First of all, everybody's not the same. Some people have ulcer. Some people have some is- eating defects that they actually have to eat stuff. And you're saying, oh, you don't have to eat every... It, just because it sounds smart doesn't mean like it, it's, it works for everybody, right? It's it's not the same thing. And you cannot just be on national TV to be telling Nigerians, eh, eh, if you can't afford... if you can, I mean, and I, I get where his point... I know he's, he probably has good, the intent or, or goodwill, but... You can't say that to everybody. Everybody's life is different. We're saying that the cost the cost of buying food stuff has increased. And you're saying eh, everybody doesn't have to eat. It's a mental thing for you to eat three square meals. And I'm just like, how? Ayo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. And it's just, it was just, it was just really, it was interesting for me because no if something is bad then it's bad and you say oh this shit is bad you don't and address it there's an issue there's an issue yes address that like oh it's not yes i understand that we need to manage expenditure but you can't say people shouldn't eat if you can't feed yourself that's a basic that's a basic necessity of life shelter food education now data Right, but let's More data than cost, so. yeah. Just an a roof over your head and food. Most important, every other thing self is even secondary. But that you have a place to sleep and you have food in your stomach. You're saying, eh, people should people don't need to eat all the time. So make them die now. So as we did now, mm-hmm. because country don't really cost, make we die. You know, see Nigerians are really trying right now, and I don't know how everyone is putting it to get together and getting by, but like, yes. Yeah. It's mad. It's so mm. it's so 
crazy. And this is what we say for every time there is an increase in the co cost of living. Yes, but this one eh, really they touch you. It's really biting. It took it. It took it. No airflow at all. It restrict them. Mm -hmm. but, Speaking about another sad, sad thing in this country. Yeah. Obviously, the state of insecurity. Hmm. You know, people getting kidnapped. They go on. You want to travel to another part of the country, get kidnapped. You be in your own house. Hmm. You know, kidnappers are now using acid to soften the walls of your of your home so they can kick through it or so they can just, you know, push down the walls. And um, the sugar daddy of Nigeria, um, Senator Ned Oko. First of all, sir, we saw the latest pictures of your wife. You are doing well, sir. We are doing very well. You are use the resources at your disposal are being tailored <laughs> in the right place. Yes, yeah, you baba, no one does it go, just take go. Speaking of uh, you know, an old man marrying a young girl, this is it. This was Lord Lugar's dream. Lord Lugar's dream. This was it. <laughs> this was the blueprint. This was the You are the living embodiment so of the great right now because even embodiment of the great nigerian dream shout out to said ned Uoko oh. and uh mrs Uoko, uh, the third or the fourth i don't know which number she is She's, lost count. she falls on that but anyway so ned Uoko says that believes that every nigerian should have a gun and i'm like on paper that's not a bad idea that sounds wonderful but in reality can you imagine millions of Lagosians or hundreds of thousands of Lagosians carrying guns in, yes. in this mass city. No, they, they're not going to press horn again. It's just See, come down from your car and blow somebody's Mr. head up. Mr. Man, why are you driving like that? Bring that gun. Boof, boof. <laughs> it will be our gun, our gun will have be worse than America. America. Trust me. Yeah, because oh, we'll be what are the modalities? Happy. What are the modalities? Okay, who is eligible to buy a gun? How much would they be selling these guns? Would there be background check for people who want to buy guns? Like, are you Men mentally stable? Checks. Yeah, are you part of any militant group that should not have guns? And obviously, if you're selling guns, that means there'll be there'll be black market already. Exactly. And those guns will be flowing in the underworld. So, Mr. Ned, That's I'm not sure about that. Yeah, you might have to flesh that out, even though. With the security issues we have in Nigeria right now, it makes sense that everybody should, every man for himself. Everyone helps those who help themselves. It's yeah. giving fire for fire. If they if they shoot you, shoot somebody else. I think <laughs> so. Nigerians don't have the right to bear arms, but you can apply. There's a special something. It's a long I process, but you can apply, and it's at the discretion of the president or somebody or something. I can't remember. And have you to have to be of a certain age as well. I think it's that yeah. 35 or 40. And we don't sell machine guns. I think we only sell pump actions to people. They are really meant to handle pump actions. I don't think we are meant to handle revolvers, all those other ones of machine guns. I think it's only pump action guns. Yeah. Maybe we're not even the reason I'm safe because the one way we don't see guns, if we are doing worse. Yeah. What, imagine what husband, makes, imagine a very toxic husband saying, Mr. Madam, where do, why are you just coming back from work now? Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, I beg. you. You even go far to even talk safe. I see they from the downstairs you go open window, just shoot the person before you reach upstairs. Or on Valentine's Day, you just catch your baby with another person in a in a seca or all these fancy restaurants or more. Kali, game so, over. <laughs> see we see how nah I'll get no. I beg go. Brief segue to um these lounges that are that also double as clubs. The yeah, of first the of all, that thing, I don't know why, but I'm like, is the noise. Like, I want to go to a lounge to be okay. Let the, lo let the noise be at the background. Let it be background noise. Oh but God. no, oh. the the noise or the club noise already, you feel it in the lounge before the thing has even converted to a club. Like, why are you is people making noise? Show? Why? Why? You go to, uh, which, you go to the clubs or the lounges these days to watch a full on performance. Uh, the time I went to Cubana, the one mm -hmm. in the Kajari, they said, Okay, we came early, so they are not open the club, so we can just stay at the lounge. I was like, Okay, mm -hmm. no noise. I thought it was like normal lounge around five. Oh my mm -hmm. god, they like see noise. Oh, okay. I said, God, so when does the club start? No, get money for the country because, yeah, no, oh, you go to W bar. 
Yeah. And W buys already making they're already making oh. us early enough from seven eight. That you uh, can't even make a reservation any that like they're fully uh, me, I did not even know. So me, I not got it. The ladies now say, please reservation. I say, eh? I said, me, I don't all this one you people are speaking. Uh. No. The place is where me I go to. They're lucky they see customer. Once they see because they open the door, <laughs> people are doing reservation. But I understand why they do reservations, and I understand yeah. I understand why. Why it is important for for like all those fancy restaurants and lounges to do mm. to do reservations? You know why? Okay. It occurred to me to control the inflow of commercial babes into that place. One. Yes, I feel I feel and also to get exclusive clientele and all. I manage I manage Two. space obviously. Yeah, Two. but I figure I figured that out that they are like okay, smart, smart, smart. And to be it's honest, not like they also what? they also they also have to also create space for everybody there you know that they are select they have select tables it's not like yeah you know yeah, not... they, they count the tables to know how much they're also going to make so they make select yeah. they have to create space for whoever it is that is going to come right mm -hmm. and so if you think if you think you could just stroll in and then find like like and this no i'm just saying, like generally it, yeah it also stops that whole strolling in idea right yeah right? It's nice. not for anybody, yeah. Uh -huh, you can't just uh -huh. walk in. You can't just yeah. walk in, which yeah. is nice anyway. Which is nice. It's I get important. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. Let's wrap we up don't with want pop. Guns in on the I better go. I better. Senator Ned, we don't want guns, please. We don't want. Thank please. you very much. Okay. Let's wrap it up with prop and flop. Where should we start from? Let's, let's start have with let's start prop. With flop. Let's have a flop. Uh, we have no prop. We have no prop anyway, so maybe to the super egos. Yeah. There's already one place South Africa. I don't know. So the, the prop is pending. It's pending. Maybe if you super win, you can no, add no. it. Have, no, the prop has to be the super egos game with, with Angola. Sha. Okay, yeah, they try. Sha. They work yeah, their ass off. Yeah, yeah. Ah, but yeah. I wanted the prop to be later. But I don't know. No, it's pending. Don't worry. If they win, yeah. just you just imagine that we prop them. Just leave on like that. Yeah. Now, flop of the week. Is a one of the bottom barrel individuals that we have in Nigeria. Um, one of the people I hate. I he just hates him and his goatee. I hate him and his goatee. Between him and Danerega, I don't know who has the most who has the more disgusting sight. I, I have zero tolerance for this one. Zero tolerance with his fake pastoral look and stupid white goatee. And in this issue of you know to straighten the naira, the man opened his trap and said. The government should ban the importation of human hair to help strengthen the naira. Oh, you see, That's sometimes important. people need to be aware. If you have diarrhea of the mouth, you need to shut up or treat yourself. And <laughs> um, you, not everything you be doing cho 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 because everybody is talking. People like this is the reason why we had evil forest back in the days. <laughs> so they can banish them. So they know that you are not human being. You are not a human being. You, 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 are, you are below a human being. So you just go to the evil forest. And let the gods deal with you. Little. Yeah. Yeah. Of a leader. Why? What do you say? You'll be such a dictator of a leader. I've said Why? before. I am not a democratic person. Uh -huh. you, if Sol Areno was in my village, I thought no, 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 no. We forgot you want to do. Please, the gods, do take him. We don't want him. We don't want him. Here. Uh, sometimes I used to feel Re Reno's talk or sometimes. Uh, it, it's okay. like yeah, I know because he's a he's okay. a I know shenanigans. I won't go no, more than that. I know it's shen I know it's shenanigans. I won't go more than that. I know him. I, I used to really listen to his yams, right? Um, because he, you know, he he knows how to deliver. He knows how to, he knows how to put the words right. He's such a good writer. Mm. You know, mm. he knows okay. how to tell the story. <laughs> okay, he has told the story now, mm. and he said that Nigeria's solution is that uh, the women should stop importing wigs. I said, okay, oh, it's fine. Man. It's fine. We'll see. We'll see. That's what. The out of everything you could talk about is wig. Don't yes, so Cardoso in your face. Cardoso said it is in it's in foreign exchange. People traveling, relocating for health and education. For school. Then, everybody, everybody will come up with the with the the, the, the most stupid answer, but we'll not go for the obvious one that we need to be manufacturing, we need to be a producing nation. Simple that's the hard that is the truth of this whole matter. But people looking for conspiracy theories. Do you know that this this week I, I was in certain spaces where um 
they're talking about you know i didn't know there were any tinnable supporters still after the election it's after oh, the election now that i'm really seeing them right i promise you that i went into this office and this woman was telling me how um she obviously she voted for Tinubu and everything and to be honest i told her you're very free to your own opinions and she said yes that look at the structure of the of the of lagos that he built and he put in place i'm like we're still on this argument like we're still maybe saying, you see, maybe she thinks maybe she's one of those people that thinks like ikoyi is lagos or maybe body loan is lagos so i don't understand i'm not maybe sure she, maybe she lives in body law maybe she, she lives in body law even in the body loan, self, what's it really they happen for body loan? What's it uh, I'm not tank. I'm not tank in front of one of the houses. That's you don't see know. the portal with the ikoi. There are so many portals there. That's supposed don't to be one percent of one percent in Nigeria. Our and governor is doing something about it. Don't worry. Johnson and she, you know, she was she was heavy. You know, talking about how eh, that it was. It's not time yet for Peter B blah 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 and then she started talking about that it's peter will be that is increasing the cost of the that is increasing the 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 value of the drop reducing the value of the naira that he's raise them raise them now now and i told that and your principal that is the president is not raising he's in I france said, he's in france looking at looking at the mona lisa do you understand what i mean and away from she said she went on about how um, 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 Nigerians want to vote for Buari, and I said, ah, Babe, I'm not sure. Really, uh, not what do we do? That. What do we throw? What do we where, where the where's the where's the, where the structure of this discussion now, madam? You're Please just say, moving up and down, you're bouncing up and down, yes, because that's what she was doing when she when she sees that you're about to say so. She's like, hey, that's how I'm like, Yo, first of all, you're the loudest in the room, and you're really first of all, this is. This is how God, you know, when they're building the tower of ba Tower of Babel, this is how God confused people. So Honestly, I think confusion I is in, confusion is the order in APC. They don't know what to do. So mm, it's, no, it's fine. That, I I completely agree. You know, now that you said it from this perspective, I mean this is yes. trauma. Yes. Sometimes God brings confused. madness among people. He brings madness I, to start. I almost people. fainted. Honestly, I, I almost know. fainted. No fainted. Oh, God. We don't get 911. Oh. No. The appeal says um, anti. Then I said, maybe she do a bus. They said maybe she do a bus. You know, this girl on nowadays. I think she do a bus. I think she do a bus one. No, be lying. You know they had. You know they had Nigerian people. You my friends are an abortion because I said that day. My face don't they change. My face don't they change. You know as if she don't they get. I know swell. Yeah. Eh eh. I know that when she first came, she was she was not looking. She was not looking strong. Eh eh. Nigerians are Nollywood Nollywood movie plots. Way. Yeah. Women really need to be empowered, man, because for for that woman over speaking that shit, see, we need more financial literacy and a lot more political conversations am amongst women because like especially the, the financial the especially the political, you know, in line we'll get women. There. We'll go God, get there. Enough, enough, enough even talk because I go to the office, go seek for funds. So I know I couldn't raise oh. my voice. No over, uh, no over. Do you say okay? Now you be political motivator. Mm, okay. Analyst. Now you be analyst. But you collect these funds. You go see the money. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. but yeah. The seed, okay. The seed and the thorns. I think it's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We're done speaking yep. about yep. Nigeria and its intrigues and its drama. Um. Oh. If you want to send us fan mail, please do that, do that at family at 234 including release therapy. And um, follow us on every social media platform at 234 Essential Podcast. I don't know we did not say this thing at the beginning of the podcast as well. Don't worry, that used to it. Now we said it at the end. It's good. We caught hey, it at the end. It's okay. fine. That's fine. It is fine. Anytime yeah. is the right yeah. time, to be honest. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys for listening to us. Stay All safe. Best. If you are going to involve yourself in, yeah, if you are going to involve yourself in the uh, uh, volatile shenanigans, please strap up. Thank you. Very important. And please yeah. try to have your bath, brush your teeth, and be kind. Yeah, be kind. All right, peace out. Peace out.